Five days after the National Intelligence Service's announcement, the White House has officially confirmed the deployment of North Korean troops to Russia. The U.S. warned that if North Korean forces engage in combat against Ukraine, they could become targets of attack. 국정원의 발표 닷새 만에 미국 백악관이 북한군의 러시아 파병을 공식적으로 확인했습니다. 북한군이 우크라이나를 상대로 싸운다면 공격의 표적이 될 것이라고 경고했습니다. Okay, so, uh, so the White House, it took a few days. We saw pictures. Mm-hmm. Few days ago, yes. but the White House has made the official announcement. Right. 공식 so... 확인. Yes. 네, 했습니다. 네. That's right. Uh-huh. So the uh, the South Korean National Intelligence Service had already made this announcement five days ago. Okay. But it has been separately confirmed by U.S. intelligence Got services. It. Got right? it. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this is, of course, a big deal. It shows an escalation of the war. Right. And they're saying about three thousand troops have been moved. That's quite significant, that isn't is, it? Yeah, it right? is a significant number, mm-hmm. and that they're training in what is at least three places. Mm-hmm. So uh, they are. Are giving kind of a warning uh, that North Korean should not actively engage in this war, right. or it will escalate the situation, and the North Korean troops will be under attack as well. Right, that's right. I mean, because obviously the U.S. is in support of Ukraine, so it just it's making the situation very volatile. Mm-hmm. So, but now Russia though is kind of denying. That there was deployment of the soldiers? Yes, so Russia is denying, saying that this is fake news. And if particularly the U.S. or South Korea makes any moves to respond to this in a way that could threaten Russian security, that they would respond in kind. In kind meaning in the same way uh, they would react to any kind of attack on Russian security. 그러니까 러시아는 북한군 파병서를 부인하고 mm-hmm. 그리고 이게 다 가짜 뉴스라고 그렇게 말을 하는데 맞아요. 네. Yes. 그리고 okay. 러시아 안보를 위협할 수 있는 모든 조치에 가혹하게 대응하겠다고 했습니다. Okay, mm. that's pretty serious. Those are pretty serious statements. Okay, now the word troops. Yes. 군인들? Yes. Soldiers? Mm-hmm. So this what is, is the difference between, well, we know soldiers, we know troops. Is there a difference? Is it the same thing? I would not say that there is mm. a huge difference in regular speech between soldier and troops. Right. Mm. The way it's used. Right. But troops can also mean 부대, mm-hmm. right? Right. Okay. So as a group, you mm. would say troops, and it feels like a group of soldiers moving together, right, right. whatever kind of st- strategy that the generals or mm-hmm. admirals have, mm-hmm. uh, the troops as a group moving together. Right. Mm. But I do feel that we do use them interchangeably, like soldiers, troops. Yes. But if you want to get really specific about it. Right. Yeah. And I would say, for example, phrases like support the troops, mm-hmm. uh, whenever we're talking about non-military people sending either love or physical or monetary support mm-hmm. we would say support the troops support the soldiers sounds a little little uh-huh. odd yeah so depending on the context mm-hmm. it varies slightly yes and of course a deployment is to send the troops Pabyong, right Pabyong, yeah you're yes. sending those troops out to war or wherever else they are for training such as that. Okay, very mm-hmm. good. Let me read that once more. Five days after the National Intelligence Service's announcement, the White House has officially confirmed the deployment of North Korean troops to Russia. The U.S. warned that if North Korean forces engage in combat against Ukraine, they could become targets of attack.